About 40 million Americans can't do something I'm doing right now. They can't read. Many are high school graduates who have jobs, raise families, and go about their lives. But if you ask anyone who can't even read street signs, it's a struggle. Tonight, we're shining our community spotlight on the Cape Fear Literacy Council, where struggles are turned into triumphs. Good morning, honey. Her mother said she was flipping through a magazine. For the first time in his entire life, Vincent Durant is doing something he's never been able to do before. At 54, he's finally learning how to read. Despite graduating from high school, no one ever knew he didn't know how. Well, some of my teachers that didn't know I knew how to read that well, they would call me up and to read, and I had a problem with it, and it was kind of embarrassing. It was his pride that led him here to the Cape Fear Literacy Council. Then we're going to stop and just talk about that paragraph, okay? Okay. Ann Stokely is on the board of directors at the Cape Fear Literacy Council. She's also Durant's tutor, has been since 2017. She had never tutored before. No, no, no. I was a scientist. I was in pharmaceutical R&D for my career. So I've trained people, technical training, but I've never done anything like this work. The training here is quite specific for dealing with adult learners. So it's not diagramming sentences or doing phonics or things like that. It's for dealing with people who've been educated, may have missed the skills that made them good readers. She took a breath. In New Hanover County, we are 15% of adults are at what they consider a level one literacy rate, which is the lowest. Yasmin Tomkinson is the executive director of the Cape Fair Literacy Council, which is located on South 17th Street. She says many people who come here are at a level two, but even they are challenged with reading. They're still struggling, right? It's not, they're not comfortable, they're not confident. It's not until level three that you're proficient. Tomkinson has been here for about 20 years. She's seen the success stories like Durant's time and time again. I feel so lucky to be part of this organization. There's nothing bad in this equation, right? There are people who want to improve their lives. There are people who are giving their time to help them do it. I love this place. There's there, no were, there he was in his... Durant admits he was hesitant pool. at first. He actually he came pool. to the Literacy Council in the 90s but quit. This time he's been determined and wants any adult who wants to learn how to read to know it's really not hard. It's not. It's just breaking down words, taking your time, listening, sounding out, and it all falls in place. Durant says he has about two more years here at the Cape Fair Literacy Council before he's where he wants to be. After all, he has goals. Well, I can read to my grandkids now and to teach somebody else how to read. The Cape Fear Literacy Council depends on donations. Now, their big fundraiser is coming up. They're having a lunch, and we have information about that on our website. Yeah, and for more information on how you'd like to attend the event or just make a donation to an organization that is just continuing to do awesome things in our community, look for this Community Spotlight story on WECT.com.